Really, so what do you think? Is it a hit or miss? Now, the young Audi is out there. We can wait and see how he fares in the market. It's now time for our interview segment. And on the hot seat today is sensational singer Wade speaking about her music career, her personal life, and the highly talked about expected move to Chocolate City. Be inspired. All right, let's start from your name, Waji. Now, what does that mean? Where did that come from? Waji means different things in different languages. It's actually Aitwaje, so it's Waje. You understand? But a lot of people, and when I start singing it, W A J W A J, you understand? But sometimes people don't really pay. But how did you get into Nigerian music? Nigerian music started for me when I was uh, um, in school in UNN. Uh, I, I, I sang in church one day and I met a man called uh, Chris Madubuko. Uh, Christopher Madubuko is uh, Aslem, Pastor Aslem Madubuko's younger brother. So he just came back from the States and you know he was looking for talent because he felt like Nigerians, we had talent and he saw me and told me, he convinced me into doing it commercially. And after that, I started get crashing gigs, letting people know who I was, the name go. I'll go to PK Gardens, once I hear there's a show coming up, I'll tell them that I'm a great performer. And then I could, I, I can still dance that way, all of you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I did a lot of my, I was in a dance group at the time in church, so all my skills, I put it into work and one time. Now your major breaks came with P-Squares song. Their song Omogemi, I, t I titled it Bobo Me and sent it to them. They loved it and wanted it to be part of their uh, Busybody album too. And that was it. After that, they called me for Game Over album, told me to come and uh, record with them that they wanted uh, a voice on the song Gumi. I heard it and I loved it. I, I thought it was a great start to the industry, if, if you ask me. And from there onwards, uh, okay, Advance Warning came and blah, blah, blah. But it's no, it's been no looking back from me. Now, do you have, do you go through any training? I used to, but I started getting lazy. So I want to employ the services of a vocal trainer. The only thing that scares me about that is sometimes you can change your vo vo your voice texture. But I think that you know, if you want to get to the world stage, you should be disciplined enough to at least exercise your chords and all that. Okay, I tried to learn. So I wish, so I wish. I didn't have a heart. All right, so tell me, why that's that the words are really heavy? Don't you think they're a bit too yeah. extreme? And at that, at that time, that 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 was what I was. So was it born out of personal? Experience? Well, uh, so, sort of ex personal. But the thing about it was when I was um, writing, I wasn't writing it from the breakup point of view. What I was doing at the time I was writing it was I wish that the tables turned in the sense that I wouldn't even bother to be feeling the way I'm feeling about you. That I wish I get the ginger to not just send you. That, that's, that's what the song is about. All right, so when would your album be dropping? It's going to drop next year. It would have dropped this year, but I'm getting to know myself and my music a lot better. And aside getting to know myself and my music a lot better, I, I'm no longer the, the, the how do I put it? The decision maker alone in, in when it comes to my career now. There are other stakeholders and people that tell you what they this this is what I think and I have to consider what they say. So, so what, any collaborations? Oh yeah, a lot that we're working on at the moment, but I ain't saying anything. Mm -hmm. I like the elements okay, of surprise. Can, can just give us a little just table know that it's just beautiful music all the way. <laughs> so but why has it taken so long? For the album, yes. um, well, you I, when you want to do stuff, it's it's best doing it and doing and being able to defend what you're doing. That's that's my own idea of you know work. At the time, it didn't necessarily take so long because my career actually started really in the sense of the word with for a minute. Now the reason why a lot of people just feel it took so long is because they go count the years of doing and at that time. I was just basically a young girl who wanted people to be heard and the, it, there was no demand for a YG album, let's face it, so. As a mother, yeah. how have you been able to combine being a single parent and the parent? Oh well, kudos to my mother, <laughs> yes, I have, she's giving me a very strong support system in a way that, you know, my daughter knows she's YG's daughter but she's just, she also knows that she's just 
and a woman's daughter you understand so many times when i get busy my mom helps me out to stabilize you know and let her let her grow up in that family setting you know but i said that you know, I, I try i know what i want for myself you know that i i know the things that i lacked as a kid and that's what i try to do at that time when you had your baby how did you feel at that time uh, first of all, I was very young, so I didn't really didn't know what the experience was. The, the only thing is, I just felt to myself that I had achieved something. That's that, that's how I felt because I, I grew up in that um, environment where a lot of people didn't really think I was worth something. You understand? Except for my mom and my brothers, and my family. You know, a lot of people just thought. Mm, so I, I grew up in that kind of setting, you know, so for me, at the time, I, I, I just felt, oh wow, this one is mine, I'm not going to drag out with anybody, there's nobody that will come and tell me, oh no, what is, eh, this is my position, you're supposed to be, and you're not dragging for something, no, this one is so mine, so y'all just um, appreciate and back on <laughs> at the time that and I still feel the same way. She's, my music, my career, everything is working out well, but she's not my greatest Now there's been much talk about the chocolate city signing up and what's the latest news in that? We're we're we we there are talks. We're we're trying to see how we can work together. They're like they've been a very strong uh, part of my career since when I, in the sense that they've really helped me in, uh, in many ways and yeah. There's a possibility. Okay, I want us to do a song together. Let me say what song. Alright, so let's go. A delight to listen to. Now, time for our short break, but before then, let's take a look at other news around the entertainment world. Stay with us.